everyone, it's Susan and Zuzu. Zuzu's my little Shih Tzu. She is, she'll be six this summer. Doesn't she still look like a puppy? Puppy. <laughs> she's really tiny, but um, I think she's a little jealous that Henry has been in so many of my videos. So I just thought I'd add her into the mix today. Um, so I'm gonna do an unboxing, although I already unboxed the books. Um, well, two of them I actually bought in a local bookstore. And my only regret is that I didn't buy all of them in the local bookstore because as you guys know, um, our local bookstores are hurting right now as all small businesses are. So I do really regret that. Um, but I ordered, I always get sucked in by the low price on the book depository. You know, they're based out of the UK. And this was before like I understood how like this domino effect that is going to be occurring or else I think I already felt guilty about ordering it from them as opposed to a, a, a you know a, a local bookstore um, but this was before like COVID-19 really like really got going in in the uh in Europe and here in the states and I guess I just was naive about everything but anyway so two of the books um that I'm going to show you I actually bought the same day that I ordered online for the four bucks books from the book depository. I went to a local bookstore in um, a cute little college town in North Carolina. And the first book I saw, um, it's the Odyssey. Uh, it's the Emily Wilson translation. And the reason I was so excited when I saw this there because, um, okay, so if you watch my videos, you know I went, crazy over Circe, <laughs> Madeline Miller Circe. And um, Madeline Miller suggested uh, getting Emily Wilson's translation of the Odyssey. So when I saw this at, uh, it's a cute bookstore, it's called Foggy Pine Books in Boone, North Carolina. I was super excited and I got it right away. Then along those same lines uh, of Greek mythology, I also got, I hadn't heard of this book um, before seen in the in the bookstore, but it's the silence of the girls. And what attracted me to this was, I don't even know what first made me pick it up, but I saw on the back that um, get the glasses. It says, "Here's the story of the Iliad as we've never heard it before, in the words of Briseis." Trojan queen and captive of Achilles. And like the night before, two nights before, I had just finished reading The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh my goodness. Cause as if you've read that book, this is Achilles prize that he got near, uh, near the end of the book. Um, my sister-in-law, Bet had sent that book to me. Thank you, Bet, if you're watching. Um, I'll talk about the Song of Achilles in another video. I loved it. Um, but yeah, so having read that, if you've read that, well, I haven't read this, so I don't know what the quality of writing is or anything, but I am super excited and I will report back because I don't want to steer any of you wrong. Um, Zuzu, I'm, I think I'm going to put you down, okay? Okay, so then my four guilty books that I got from the UK. <laughs> um, okay, along those same lines in the Greek mythology vein, I got Stephen Fry's Mythos, the Greek myths reach hold. On the back, it says, no one loves and quarrels, desires and deceives as boldly and brilliantly as Greek gods and goddesses. <laughs> Could that be more true? <laughs> um, so very excited about that. So all of these books, just down that Greek mythology rabbit hole, and I couldn't be happier about it. The next three books, um, they're all classic novels. Uh, there, so there's three left. Two of them I have read before. The one I haven't read before is Travels with Charlie by John Steinbeck. I've been wanting to read this for quite a while because it's it's Steinbeck's road trip. And we're called road reads because um, I love road trips. And I, you know, once the world calms down again, first I was waiting for winter to be over. Now winter is pretty much over, but the world's been turned upside down. And, um, but once things settle down, hopefully road trips can resume and I would love to go to bookish places and, and show them to you um, in the videos. But, um, so this is 
John Steinbeck's road trip and uh, Steinbeck can go either way with me. I absolutely hate <laughs> The Grapes of Wrath. I've read it twice. The second time I read it, it took all the willpower I had to finish that book. It is not for me. And yet, <laughs> I love Steinbeck's East of Eden, like love it. In fact, I should reread that sometime in the near future. But I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he says and I'll report back on this one. And then the next two, these are classics. If you're a reader, you've already read these and you know probably love them. I got Jane Eyre and The Scarlet Letter. I had a, that video I did when I went to Bookmarks in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I just went crazy over these covers. These again are the Penguin uh, Classics Deluxe Editions. And like, I just think this is the perfect cover for the Scarlet Letter. Over here on the bookshelf, I have my Scarlet Letter that a copy um, that I used 25 plus years ago for my senior thesis in college that I did on the book. And it has all my notations and underline and, and I will never get rid of that book, but or that edition. But I just love this so much. I really wanted to add it. Here's the back. I don't know what this all means. Are these the scarlet women through the <laughs> through the decades? Um, I just think I just think this is such an awesome awesome cover. And then same with Jane Eyre. Like, could that be a more perfect cover for Jane Eyre? And here's the back of the book. Oh, it just it just makes me so happy. I haven't read, I've read Jane Eyre maybe four times in my life, but it's been a while. Here's the back cover. It's been a while since I've read it. So um, I was just listening to, I don't remember, I think it was Gretchen Rubin, but I don't remember if it was in her podcast or in her Instagram live, but she was talking about how when she's stressed, she has trouble focusing on, on reading, but rereading is very calming for her. And I can't agree with that more because I feel like my mind just can't settle down lately. And maybe a lot of you are feeling that way, which makes it hard to read. But if it's a book you already know and love, like I, I think that may be the solution. And because you already know the story, right? You're not having to focus like on the story and what's going to you know happen next and comprehending everything you already know that you're just getting lost in the story and you're just like cuddling in with the words so i think now may be the time for some major rereading um but anyway i don't want to make a long video i just wanted to pop on here with this book haul again i haven't bought six books at one time in one day in a long time i hate spending money but if i'm gonna spend money i kind of want it to be on books like you know because they're not just thing. i mean they are things right but like when it comes to things i feel like they're kind of the best of things I'm sure arguments can be made for others, but by others, but th these are my favorite uh, things to um, to uh, adore. <laughs> and the other thing that really helps is nature when times are crazy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm going to head outside and just walk here on my mountain. No one's here on the mountain. <laughs> I don't need to worry about social distancing. Um, I, there's only five houses on this whole mountain and I really doubt anyone's outside, um, but it is like 60 degrees today. It's overcast, but I feel like the trees and the sky and the mountains and the water like help put things in perspective. And I always need assistance putting things in perspective. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are healthy and um, finding good ways to deal with all the stress that's going on right now. and. I'm thinking of all of you. Um, if you're watching this, it probably means you're a reader, unless you're my dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> my dad's not a reader, but he watches because I'm his daughter. But um, so books are a great solace and YouTube videos are too. It's a nice distraction instead of watching the news, which will just tear you right down. So anyway, take care, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye.